Hi, my name is Melissa Hancock. Welcome to the BDFAX Melody Cell Sorter System Startup Tutorial. This tutorial will cover how to perform a fluidic startup, insert the sort nozzle, and run a cytometer setup with drop delay. Start BDFAX Chorus software by clicking the shortcut on the desktop. Log in with a username and password. The opening screen includes a navigation bar on the left with a list of tasks. There are numbered tabs across the top that serve as a guided workflow. System status information is displayed at the bottom of the navigation bar. The first workflow on the opening screen is Fluidic Startup. There are two choices, Run Daily Fluidic Startup or Run Extended Fluidic Startup. For this demonstration, we will perform a daily fluidic startup. There are four steps to complete the daily fluidic startup. Click Start and just follow the prompts to complete the tasks. A green check mark appears as each task is successfully completed. Click Close and then Continue to view the cleaning options. This procedure can be skipped if a cleaning was done as part of the shutdown. If you are performing an aseptic sort, click Prepare for aseptic sort and follow the prompts. Refer to the user's guide for more information. Flow Cell Clean will clean the sample path and fill the flow cell with deionized water. We recommend running the flow cell clean between samples or different operators. For this demonstration, we will perform a flow cell clean. The software prompts you to insert the closed loop nozzle. This nozzle is used for cleaning and shutdown procedures. The closed loop nozzle has a connected wire. The sort nozzle does not. Both nozzles have a tiny orange O-ring with the word top imprinted. After the cleaning is complete, click Close and then Continue. The system displays a dialog to insert the sort nozzle. To insert the sort nozzle, open the flow access door. Under the cuvette, remove the closed loop nozzle by turning the nozzle locking lever counterclockwise to the 9 o'clock position and then pull the nozzle straight out. Place it in the nozzle holder. Insert the sorting nozzle with the word top facing up into place and push it all the way in. Turn the key clockwise to the 12 o'clock position to lock it into a fixed position. Click Continue and the system verifies that the sort nozzle is in place. The fourth step in the system startup procedure is to perform cytometer setup, also called CSNT. BD CSNT RUO beads are used to measure the baseline and daily performance capability of the instrument. We recommend running CSNT daily before performing any experiments. Prepare the beads according to the package directions. The last run and status are displayed. The next step is to view or change the optical configuration. The current configuration for the BDFAX Melody is displayed. For demonstration purposes, let's view the configuration. Optical filters are accepted only in specific locations. Refer to the filter guide and user's guide for more information regarding changing the optical filters. The current configuration lists the fluorochromes for each laser on the left and the current filter on the right. Even though we didn't make any changes to the configuration, 
It is okay to still verify before we close. Verify the bead lot number and expiration date or click change to enter new information. Click run cytometer setup. Load the tube with CSNT beads and click continue. The system displays the current step with a progress bar. Once cytometer setup is complete, click Continue. The final step in the procedure is to perform drop delay. Prepare the BD AccuDrop sort beads according to the package directions. The last drop delay run and status are displayed. Click Run Drop Delay and place the beads on the cell sorter and follow the prompts. The system displays the current step with a progress bar. Once drop delay has completed successfully, click Continue. To view the CSNT report, click Cytometer on the navigation bar and then select Cytometer Setup Reports. Choose your report and click Export to save it as a PDF document. This concludes the BDFAX Melody Startup Module. For more information on any of these procedures, please refer to the User's Guide.